You might remember a few years ago, I put out a video called Installing Notimation on my server. And now that video has been getting lots of views and seems to really be helping people. In the time since I put out that video, I've discovered some great ways to make installing Notimation even easier. If you clicked on this video, you probably have some idea of what Notimation is, but let's get on the same page just to be sure. Notimation is an extendable workflow automation tool and it allows you to connect many different kinds of software together. It's kind of of like Zapier, but it's available to be self-hosted and allows you to add your own custom functions, logic, and apps. It's highly versatile and connects to pretty much anything and everything. Using Notimation, you could receive a notification from your shopping cart that someone purchased one of your products and have it add a task inside ClickUp. Then it can go on to use PushCut and send you a phone notification of what to do next. The sky is the limit with all of the integrations they've already made available coupled with your creativity on how to connect them. Are you ready? Let's go. I've come up with two different ways to get Notimation installed on your server. The first one is a one-click install where all you have to do is click on this deploy to DigitalOcean. And what this is going to do is spool up a Notimation app and a Notimation database. When you have both of those pieces, then you can run an app on DigitalOcean. So let's go ahead and click this edit plan button because if it's just you or a couple of, of teammates who are running Notimation, the basic is well past what you're going to need. So let's go ahead and just drop this down to $5 a month for your app itself. And and then your resource for your database is gonna cost $7 a month. If that's too much and you'd rather have $5 a month, keep watching. Our next option here for getting Notimation installed is using Ansible to install the app and the database into a DigitalOcean droplet, which can be as low as five bucks a month. For those of you not familiar with Ansible, it's an automation platform that runs locally on your computer and then connects to your server and can run any action you would do manually. So instead of me showing you 30 different commands to run when you're connected to your server, I put those commands into a playbook and now you can run it and it will do it all for you. If you would rather do it yourself, check out my other video where we go through all of the commands one by one. Our first step into getting Notimation running on your own server is to actually get a server in the cloud. That brings us to today's affiliate sponsor, DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is where I host all of my websites and apps that I manage. They make it simple to launch in the cloud and scale up as you grow. With an intuitive control panel, predictable pricing, team accounts, and more, there are more than 100,000 developer teams worldwide that trust DigitalOcean to support their businesses with a 99.99% .99 uptime SLA for all of DigitalOcean services. DigitalOcean's predictable pricing means you will always know what you'll be paying per month with a flat industry-leading pricing structure. Finally, and probably most importantly, they have free round-the-clock technical support for all of their customers with benefits for premium support subscribers. Use the link in the description below to get a $100 credit to use over the next 60 days. Since you're going to need an account to follow along with this tutorial anyway, go ahead and pause the video, click that link and set up your account, then jump back here so we can install an automation on your server. All right, welcome back. We're installing Notimation on your server using an Ansible playbook that gets all of the software required and configured so that you can run Notimation. It installs and configures Node, Nginx, CertBot, and most importantly, the Notimation software itself. Because I use a Mac computer, I'm gonna go through how to do this process on that. Now, if you're using a Windows computer, you can use the Windows subsystem Linux or WSL to run these same commands. So let's get the supporting software installed on your local computer. According to the Ansible documentation, you can use either Brew or Python's pip as the package manager to install Ansible. So personally, I recommend using Brew. And so I've linked Ansible's installation guide for getting it installed if what I recommend doesn't work in your case. There are several versions of Ansible. And so for this playbook, I'm using the 2.9.10. So you can use brew install ansible at 2.9.10 to get 
Ansible installed. I'm also using Microsoft's Visual Studio Code as my text editor and development environment. So I highly recommend checking it out and getting it installed if you don't already have it. Next, let's go get the Ansible playbook to do the installation and configuration. So you can find a link in the description to the GitHub repository that hosts the playbook. To clone down the playbook inside VS Code, let's open up a folder to clone the project files into. And next you can open your integrated terminal using the control plus the tilde and run git clone and then the link to the repo and then a space and a period. Next, we need to verify you have your SSH keys set up so that we can pass our public key to DigitalOcean when we create our droplet. There's lots of tutorials out there, but it's really simple. If you don't have an SSH key pair generated, you can just make one by typing SSH keygen. It will ask you where you want to save it and if you want to give it a password. And I usually leave that blank. Next, we wanna put our public key into our clipboard. And so if you're on a Mac, you can use this command and it's cat and then the location for your public key, a pipe and PB copy. If you are on another computer or another OS, you can simply cat out the public key and then copy it like usual like this. And so that's just cat and then the location for your public key and then you'd copy it. So let's open up your DigitalOcean account and make a new droplet. So you're gonna click create and then droplet and then select Ubuntu 2004 LTS X64 basic and then select regular Intel with SSD and then $5 a month. Next, you can click the location closest to you or closest to the people using your Notimation app. The next section is where we use the public key that's on your clipboard. So click new SSH key and paste the key into the content field, then name your key. And finally, you can choose a host name for your droplet. In this example, I'm going to be using n8n.funnelpress.link. And finally, you can create your droplet. As soon as your droplet has been created, you will want to copy the IP address because we're going to be putting that into two different places. First, we need to update the DNS over at Cloudflare. So if you are using somebody else for your DNS, then you'll wanna update that at your domain or whoever hosts your DNS. Inside Cloudflare, we're going to be creating an A record. And the name of this is gonna be N8N, and we're just gonna paste the IP address in right here. Once this is saved, we are golden. Let's jump back over to VS Code and open up the host file and paste the IP address of your droplets, and then we're gonna save that. Now we wanna open up the default vars file so that we can change some of our user data. We're gonna change the system user to another name and that's what you're going to use to log into your droplet. So let's update your let's encrypt email with a valid email and fill out the domain name with the domain that you put into Cloudflare. Recently, Notimation has come up with a better login as opposed to their old uh, HT access username and password. So if you wanna use the new login and I, I recommend that you do, go ahead and leave this as false. I've left this in here for people who don't want to use that for some reason. They'd still like to use the HT access username and password. If you do want to use the HT access, go ahead and set the auth user and the auth password and then adjust the active to true. Our playbook needs to have roles installed. So to do that, we're going to type ansible-galaxy install dash r requirements dot yml push enter and wait until the roles have been installed we are ready to deploy notimation out to our server so next we're going to run the command ansible dash playbook space main dot yml and this is going to connect to our droplet and configure notimation so you can see all of these different things passing through the the terminal there and when it's finished you should now be able to navigate to your domain and it should prompt you to log in. So that was pretty easy, right? Let's just finish up by showing how easy it is to update Notimation when new features come out. So we can SSH into our droplet by running SSH user at 
our domain. And if that doesn't authenticate, you may have to provide the path to your private certificate with the dash I command line flag. So once you are into your droplet, you can update by typing npm install dash g n8n at latest. Then you can restart the PM2 process manager by typing PM2 restart zero. So now you can close out of the SSH session and start building your automations from the browser. If you are watching my videos, it's likely you're interested in building online automations for your business or side hustle. So sometimes connecting different softwares like WordPress to your email service provider or your payment processor to your shopping cart can be really frustrating, especially if no one has made a YouTube video explaining exactly how to connect the things that you are trying to connect. Last week, I was able to get on a Zoom call and help an audience member solve some of their difficult automation problems. I have opened up a few more hours of my schedule this week to work on solving your automation problems. If you're someone who could use an extra set of eyes to get you unstuck or help you through a problem you are facing building your online presence, schedule some of my time. Links are in the description below. And if you want to get one of those slots for free, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and suggest a theme for a future video. The most liked comment when I post my next video will receive a brainstorming session with me one-on-one -on -one, free of charge. I hope this video has been helpful in getting Notimation installed on your server so that you can really start building time-saving, profit-building automations. Remember to like the video. It's a free step that helps the channel get to others who are searching for this info. If the video frustrated you, hit that other button, but leave me a comment down below so that I can improve on the next video. If you want to be notified when I post new videos about marketing automations, Notimation, or digital entrepreneurship, subscribe and hit that bell. These videos do take a couple of weeks to put together, and I'm very grateful to all of the patrons who make that possible. If you want to donate to the channel as well, you can join the community over at Patreon, where I drop into the Discord server from time to time, and where you can find the content early. Links are in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.